pleasure to have with us Andreas Klein. Andreas is the head of marketing and sales of Sartigo. So hi, Andreas. Good to see you. How are you? Good? Fine. Thank you. Thank you, Ivana. <laughs> Just a few words about Saltigo. So as a wholly owned subsidiary of specialty chemicals company Lanxess, uh, Saltigo was established as an independent business of the fine chemical market in April 2006. Its long and proven expertise makes, it, makes Saltigo one of the highly recognized companies in the field of exclusive synthesis and custom manufacturing. Okay, so now, Andrea, some question for you. The first, mm -hmm. it's all about chemistry, not the least, but chemistry between sponsor and CDMOs. How is important is the collaboration even before a project begins? Tell us something about Saltigo's experience. It's, um, it might, might sound like a truism, but uh, every successful cooperation builds on three parameters, trust, confidentiality, and transparency. And that's especially true in custom manufacturing. At Saltigo, um, we try to understand what the customer actually needs right from the beginning and um, try to match that with what we can deliver um, for a particular project. For example, in the field of know-how protection and secrecy, we try to match the customer requirements versus existing commitments and any other constraints we might have. And it's a clear rule in Saltigo not to pursue any business opportunity that might be against these uh, requirements. Also, what we do from the very first days of a project is install an interdisciplinary project team, which consists of different competencies from procurement over process development and engineering to marketing and sales. And Good. this uh, project management team is really responsible for the whole lifetime and all decisions around the project together with the customer. And like you can imagine, in custom manufacturing, this is uh, crucial uh, to say, because uh, our projects might start with a ready-to-use tech pack, but it could also be just a chemical formula on a piece of paper, basically. Yeah, I understand very well. <laughs> I see. Okay, you already said something about the second question, but anyway, I wanted to, to do in any case. So, what a CDMO may not miss? You already mentioned some of those. So, about flexibility, capacity, strategic partnership. Um, within the complex landscape of outsourcing, we have observed that it is very important to be clear about what the company can offer and especially also what not. Mm -hmm. So tell us how Saltigo answered this important request. As a premium choice in a multi-step uh, complex synthesis, we clearly can offer um, chemical expertise, decades of chemical expertise, integrated world-class assets, the already mentioned dedicated uh, project management, and a strong safety track record, Silvana. And um, we usually apply that package, I would like to call it, in double-digit tons up to several thousand ton scale. This is really the core business of Saltigo. However, there might be exceptions to that rule. And uh, the reasons for that might be, for example, a long-standing strategic partnership with a customer or a particular follow-up project we have. Also, um, there might be a favorable asset allocation we might find in Saltigo or a special strengths to do even simpler synthesis in our plants. Very good. Now, about green chemistry. From your experience, is a green chemistry important in custom synthesis for the customer? Is the customer willing to invest additional time and money in developing green chemistry? And it is happen only for the late phase or also for the early phase. Tell us. Um, I think it's uh, easy to imagine that uh, increasing costs or time used is always an issue. I think it doesn't really matter if it's an early phase or a later phase of a project. However, I think um, green that does not necessarily mean you have to spend more time and money. In many cases, it's just about the 
safest, the most efficient or the most economic uh, process to, for example, reduce waste and energy. Uh, examples for that might be the use of um, alternative solvents or employing catalysis to reduce energy consumption. And at Saltigo, we have a specialized process development team, which is really focusing on adapting and innovating processes yeah, to make that happen and to develop sustainable processes. Also, I would like to mention the topic of renewable feedstocks. Um, oh, yeah. We have already Very gathered. Important. Very important. Yes. yes, indeed. Yeah, And we have already gathered uh, plenty of experience here. Um, from our experience, it's very important that you clearly define the quality level of these alternative uh, feedstocks and the renewable feedstock to end up with an end product that is still suitable to demand. Yeah. Yes. Together, there's, there's one more point I would like to mention. Ah, Together, sorry. both topics, process improvement and renewable feedstocks, really contribute uh, to sustainable development and also play into what we have uh, set as Lengses. Uh, our parent company as a, yeah, I would say ambitious target to become uh, climate neutral by 2040. 2040? Good. Yeah. Not just it's around the corner, but, you know, <laughs> it's a long time project. Good. But, you know, it's important to have a long time project. Okay. Another, another problem. Now, another issue is the digitalization. Okay. What is Saltigo doing to digitalize, digitalize uh, difficult for me, information? And are the data accessible to clients in a structured, usable fashion? Yes, indeed. And uh, as a full service uh, custom manufacturer, I have to say that usually. Um, the, the raw data from our production process is less relevant for our customers. However, what we imply uh, internally is uh, digital big data analysis to identify, for example, golden batches and uh, define best practices. What we also do is use uh, digitalization to improve our business processes. And uh, we have just kicked off an initiative to enhance uh, digital customer interaction. On the sales side, um, we use a sales channel called Kemondes. This is a, a B2B platform launched by Lengses early 2019 and helps uh, to ease transactions. Also, what we introduced, this is quite impressive, um, is a digital way of signing contracts um, in, a, in a secure way. And this uh, was a tremendous achievement via the platform DocuSign because it reduced significantly the contract signing from several days, sometimes weeks, down to literally minutes in, in various cases. And I think in total, it's fair to say that in that regard, the pandemic has really improved uh, business steering and uh, digitalization a lot. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so you mentioned pandemic and we cannot avoid to do a very quick question about the pandemic crisis. So, Today's supply chain in the pharma industry is extremely China dependent, and especially for raw and starting materials and for generic APIs. Would you say that there will be a trend to return some manufacturing to Europe and to USA and to achieve a truly global supply chain management? Yes, absolutely. And Silvana, I would even like to add that this is in full speed already. For us, it has already started two or three years ago. And at that time, it was driven by HSE-related incidents in China. And um, the pandemic comes now on top of it or as a next step. And um, I can say that uh, as Saltigo, we have already acquired several projects from that trend because a local, a diversified, and a reliable supply chain was desired by our customers. Um, I think in total, it confirms that uh, as Saltigo, as a company, if we take these market trends and customer requirements serious, we can uh, build on it and uh, develop our business further. Very good. So thank you very much, Andreas. You have been thank very you. exhaustive and very clear and also fast, So, which is a good thing. So good. I wish you the best. I hope that we can meet each other face to face. But for now, okay, with thanks also this technology that, you know, allows us to have this uh, 
uh, communication. So thank you very much. Have a good day and thank stay you, tuned. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.